All right, guys, are y'all ready? It is the, it is the time for the final reveal of my makeup collection. I'm really talking this up. It's really not that big of a deal. But I thought I would just go ahead and do a whole other video because I wasn't sure how long this was gonna take and I wanted to actually show you what was in each drawer, show you my actual makeup collection. I've been getting a lot of requests for that anyway, so I thought I would just break this up and I'm gonna be showing you my entire makeup collection, what's in all my drawers, how I organized everything, labeled everything, um, and I'm just, I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. Honestly, it turned out better than I thought. I, I, I don't know, in my mind, I always felt like it was gonna look just not the way I really wanted to. Like it was gonna be close, but it just wasn't gonna be quite there. And I feel like this is exactly what I wanted and I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I feel less overwhelmed. I feel honestly more creative and more inspired having my collection just organized and having everything in its own place and I'm just I'm so happy so I hope y'all have been enjoying this series so far and without further ado let's get into my makeup collection all right guys so this is what I have done as you can see I changed out all the knobs I just found these matte black knobs on Amazon I will link them and then I'll show you in a little bit but I also labeled all of my drawers so I know exactly where everything is and this is actually my desk over here. So I sit here, I have all my makeup here. It's just easy access. I can see everything, yet it still looks very clean and organized. And it doesn't look like a makeup collection. It just looks like almost like a filing system, which is what I wanted. You know, this is an office that I share with Chris and I don't want my makeup and stuff to take over our office. Like I want our office to look very clean and organized and not like a beauty room. So these are all the organizers and um, I labeled each drawer with what's in the drawer and I just want to share with you the label maker that I use. Um, this is by Dymo. I just got this off of uh, Amazon. I actually got this uh, because Alana Davison uses it and um, I saw her labeling her makeup and I love the way it looks. It's kind of like this old school typewriter type of look and I just thought it looked really cool with this and it kind of makes it look a little bit more office -y, a little bit more like an old school filing cabinet or something um so that's what all the labels are and then these knobs i will also link in the description box i just pulled these off of amazon they're actually really nice i thought they were going to be cheap because they were kind of on the cheaper side um but they're actually really heavy and nice and they're a matte black finish so I did that on all the drawers. So I just wanna share that with you in case you were wondering. And we're gonna go and get into all the drawers and I'll share with you how I organize everything. So I'm just gonna go by cube. So each cube has two drawers and I decided to organize my drawers kind of in the way that I use my makeup. So the first drawer I have primers, second drawer I have powders. I know powders seems kind of weird there, but in my head it makes sense. And I just like having my primer and powders together because you can, I sometimes use powder to prime. So I don't know, in my head, it just makes sense. All right, so like I mentioned, this first store is priming products. So I have primers, setting sprays. Um, and then in that little bin right there, I just have sunscreens. Cause I don't know, I just keep my sunscreens in with my primers. So all my primers are right here, setting sprays back there. And then all my sunscreens are right there. Pretty boring, pretty basic. But yeah, that's my primer drawer. All right, and then moving on to powders. These are all my powders. I have loose powders up at the front, pressed powders in the back, and then I just have some uh, backups as well as some different shades of powders. There are a few more powders in here that I would like, but I will be kind of revisiting some and then get, getting rid of them if I need to. All right, so next two drawers right here are foundation. That was my first cube. This is now moving into my second cube and I have two more drawers here. So I have two drawers of foundations and that is because I like to organize them by coverage. So here's all my very light coverage, sheer coverage, tinted moisturizers, skin tints. Just for me, it makes sense to organize them by coverage because I feel like when I'm reaching for a foundation, I'm automatically thinking of, okay, do I want something lighter or do I want something more full coverage? So I've got all my kind of lighter, more sheer products in this drawer. And then the next drawer, 
I have my more, whoops, <laughs> one's running away. I have my kind of more medium to full coverage. So um, I've got like all of my foundations that come in this kind of tube packaging. I just put them in this little bin because it's gonna be hard for them to stand up. Every time I open and close the drawer, they're gonna fall over. And then I have some stick foundations back here, two powder foundations. But yeah, so those are my two foundation drawers. All right, so these next two drawers are gonna be concealers. These I divided differently because I actually don't have enough concealers to fill both drawers. Um, so for example, this first drawer, I have my full coverage concealers here, light coverage concealers here, and then in the back here, I have a little bin for correctors. And then over here, I have just some refills of my favorite Aeropress Arnica concealer. So those are just kind of backup shades, or um, I depotted these and put them in a separate container. So these are just whatever is left over that I didn't put in the palette. But yeah, these are basically all my concealers. And then the reason I had to do a second drawer is because I have these Catrice True Skin concealers that I just reviewed. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I have all the shades of this concealer. And so I just put them in here. So most likely I'm going to do full coverage concealers up here. And then in the bottom drawer, I'm going to do correctors, light coverage concealers, things like that. But just for now, this is how I have it organized. As I get more concealers, then I can move these around. And that's why I wanted to have multiple drawers for different products so I had options. So as my collection grows or as I'm trying new products, I can kind of move things around and um, you know, put them in whatever drawers I need to, but these will be concealer drawers regardless. All right, so I'm not gonna talk about the baskets yet. I have baskets lining this entire bottom row of my cabinets, so we'll go into that in a little bit, but I'm just gonna go through the drawers first. We were just over there on that side. We're now moving to the second column yes column um so this drawer and this drawer these are both blushes and i organize them based on the form that they come in so for example in this top drawer i have all my cream and liquid blushes um again this is just what makes sense to me i feel like when i'm going for a blush i oftentimes think of what form what formula do I want and then I kind of go in and pick a shade so these are all my cream and liquid blushes and then this next drawer is all of my powder blushes and with powder blushes I did organize them by drugstore and high-end this is probably going to change but that's just kind of how it fell into place as I was organizing so I have all my higher-end kind of luxe blushes and then all my drugstore blushes and then on the sides here I have um some blush palettes so that is all my blushes and for someone who doesn't wear a lot of blush I feel like I have a lot of blushes and that was kind of what I was discovering when I was decluttering I was like wow I have a lot of blushes so I really need to play around with my blushes more experiment more especially when it comes to creams I'm not huge into cream blushes I'm very very picky so I really need to dig into these and play around with these more but having it organized like this allows me to see everything i felt like before i couldn't even see these i didn't even know half of these existed because they were in the back and i just couldn't see them so having them out like this makes it a lot easier to see all right so moving on to the next cube i have two drawers here and these are my bronzers and contour products this is arguably probably my favorite part of my collection because i love bronzer so much and just like the blushes i did organize them by formula so i have all of my cream bronzer and contour products up top i put all my stick formulas in this little tray just because those tend to fall down um, i can't stand them up and then if i don't put them in a tray they'll just roll around so i put them in here um, i definitely want to get some more little organizers in here um, but just for now, this works. I have two of my contour palettes back there. Um, these are actually concealers, but I use them as liquid bronzer, cream bronzer. And then over here, I just have some little single cream bronzers. Yeah, so that's my cream and liquid bronzer drawer. And then moving into powder bronzers, you can tell this is where I have the majority of my bronzers um, and again just like the blushes I organized it by high-end 
more expensive luxury bronzers and then my drugstore bronzers and then i just have a little bronzer palette by jouet over here on the side and then my lys one which would not fit in this little tray so I need to organize this a little bit better I might not do it by drugstore and high-end I might do something else but this is just how I have it for right now all right so final two drawers on this column uh, and these are all my highlighters just like blushes and bronzers I did it by formula so the top drawer is all of my cream and liquid highlighters so I've got all my little potted kind of single highlighters um, up at the front here, I've got some stick highlighters in this little organizer, and then I've got liquid highlighters, so I kind of organize them by formula. Um, again, it's not perfect. I don't know 100% how I'm going to organize everything, but this is just what works now, and honestly, I'm just happy that I can see everything. I can see what I have, and then I can kind of figure out more organization later on, but this just works for me. And um, yeah, I'm just happy that I can see what I have. And then down here in the bottom drawer, so I've got, um, I actually used a little eyeshadow palette holder, which worked really well. I might get some more of those for bronzers and blushes. So hopefully you can tell, but there's this little, oh gosh, I can't even pull it out. This little eyeshadow palette organizer in here. And then I was able to stack all my powder highlighters in there and then here's where it kind of gets random so this little tray in here I just put some face palettes because I don't know exactly where I want to keep these um, but I just went ahead and put them in there so these are palettes that have like multiple things so they'll have like a blush and a bronzer sorry I know that's not in focus or a blush and a highlighter just kind of face palettes like that that are not one specific product um so that's just where i have those and then over here i have some more of my highlighter palettes like my light work palette my sigma um ambiance highlighter palette and then one by flower beauty all right so we've done the first column second column now we're on to the third column this is where i keep all my lash and brow products so i've got mascaras brow products lashes and kind of some random things so, mascaras and i have this little organizer in here so i have mascaras on this side brow products on this side i've got some lashes which i really don't use lashes um so i don't have a lot and then i've got like little random things for just if i ever want to do something kind of fun i've got some jewels back here i've got a whole sheet of jewels right here i have individual lashes or trios lash trios and oh and then i have like sharpeners um little mascara guard replacements um yeah so a bunch of little sharpeners and things like that um so this is all lash and brow and then next drawer down is starting my liquid and cream eyeshadows so in here i have all of my kind of like doe foot applicator liquid eyeshadows and yes i have that many that i can organize it that way so i have all my ilia chromatic eye tints kosas 10 second eyeshadows the armani um i cannot remember what these are called but they're little liquid eyeshadows um, and just some kind of random ones and then over here i have some eyeshadow primers that honestly i don't use because i don't wear eye primer but i have those there i have a random mac pigment i should probably put that let me put that in my singles drawer and then i have my two um makeup by mario master eye prep and set kits which i actually really like these um so those kind of stay with my eye primers so as you can see with this drawer i have a lot of room to grow i designed it this way because this is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas and i know that i'm going to be trying out a lot more and this is one thing that I definitely tend to buy the most often. So I've got room to grow, which I'm very happy about. And then this next drawer is liquid and cream eyeshadows, but just in different forms. All right, I think that's a better angle. So I have all my potted eyeshadows, RMS eye polishes, some from the drugstore, Trini London, um, these really pretty multi-tints from One Day Beauty, which actually I need to use these. And again, I just love being able to see everything because these like little potted things like this, they just get lost and I, I just don't even see them in my collection. Um, I also have my Rowan 52 degree palette, which I never use. And again, it's just because I don't see it. It just gets lost. 
And then back here, I have um, this lipstick holder and I keep all of my color fix and my Alme Velvet Foil Cream Eyeshadows, which I really like. So these lipstick holders, um, this one in particular is from By Allegory, but lipstick holders in general are really awesome for color fix. So if you have color fix and you need a way to organize them, um, lipstick holders are amazing. And again, same thing with this drawer. I have lots of room to grow. I love cream eyeshadow. This will be expanding a lot. So I definitely wanted um, to have plenty of room. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna organize my potted cream shadows. I'm still trying to figure that out. But for now, they're just kind of floating in here, living their best life. All right, so the next drawer below my potted cream shadows and color fix are all of my eye pencils. So I have them divided by my colorful pencils. And these are like cream shadow sticks. So like bigger, kind of chubbier sticks or just kind of smaller eye pencils. Um, I originally was having, was um, organizing them in like a cup where they were all standing up, but the bad thing about that is if you have shorter pencils, which I don't, I don't know if I can find one, but as you sharpen, sharpen them like this one, or like my same wall ones, I felt like I couldn't even see them because all the other pencils were so much taller. So I like having them laid out like this. I feel like I can see them better. This may change, but this is just what's working for me now. And then in the second tray, I have my more neutral, kind of like everyday eyeshadow sticks. So just kind of your more standard, like kind of everyday neutral colors. And again, I have eyeliners, like traditional eye pencils. And then I have like eyeshadow crayon type of products. So and I will probably need to change this organization just because I feel like I'm not utilizing the space very well. I have this big gap right here on the side and I love eye pencils so I know that I will definitely be getting more so um, yeah I really want to figure out a different way to organize this but just for now this works and it's good. So these last two drawers I have eyeshadow palettes and both of these drawers have my larger eyeshadow palettes. So first drawer, no rhyme or reason, I literally just tried to put the eyeshadow palettes in here the best that I could. There's no rhyme or reason. I did keep kind of my larger palettes in here, just right, right back here, like my Morphe palette, Z palettes, things like that. Um, but yeah, no rhyme or reason. So that's drawer number one. And then this drawer down here, again, just more eyeshadow palettes. I've got all my Urban Decay palettes in here, Aether palettes, and I've got some palettes up in here. So again, not sure how I'm going to eventually organize my eyeshadow palettes. This is just what I have for right now. It works. I can see everything. I tried to keep the binding up so that I could see what I had. Actually, this is probably not going to stay there. So you can see I have all my naked palettes and I can see what everything is. So as long as I can see what I have, I'm happy. It doesn't have to be like 100% perfectly aesthetic. Um, but I just want to be able to see what I have. All right, guys, I promise we are almost done. So this one is not labeled because I wasn't sure what I was going to put in this drawer, and I actually just put stuff in this drawer, so I am going to make a label for this later. But these are all my lip pencils. So as of right now, they're just floating around in, in here. Um, I, don't, I really don't have that many. Um, so I definitely want to get some kind of organizers for in here, but literally right before filming this video, I decided to put lip pencils in here, so that's why... I just don't have a label and they're kind of just all lying in here. When I do get organizers in here, I'm probably going to organize them by like nudes, pinks, and reds, something like that. Um, but for now, this is just what I have. And then the drawer underneath it is a very loved drawer. And these are all my lip glosses and lip balms. So in this first container, I have all my lip glosses. Back container, I have a bunch of lip balms, um, lip whips, you know, just things like that, tinted lip balms. So these are all just my very like everyday, just need to throw on a lip. This is probably the drawer I'm gonna reach for. Only thing about this is this first gloss container is already full. And again, I just feel like I have a lot of unused space here. So I'm gonna try and figure out a better way to organize these. I might get some lipstick holders and actually stand up all my glosses, kind of like I did with Color Fix. So, I don't know. I will have to figure that out, but this works for now. And um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite drawers. All right, so next two drawers are lip products as well. I tried to keep 
within my whole collection, I try to keep everything together. So all my lip products are in one section, eye products, face products, because that's just what makes sense to me. So we're just gonna continue on with more lip products. And in this drawer, these are all my nude lips. So I have liquid lips and I have traditional lipsticks. Now, as you can see, this is already spilling over. And um, I think if I stand them all up in this container, it should be fine. I was just kind of throwing things in my drawer. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and go through and actually stand up all my lipsticks side, side by side, and that should alleviate that problem. And then back here are all my Shantikai lip products. I have a designated area just for Shantikai lip products because I have a lot and I just love these. Technically, a lot of these would probably fit into the tinted lip balm category, but I just like keeping them in here with my lipstick. So that's why I have them in their own little container. And then back here, I have a nude lip palette that I made and it's got all a bunch of my favorite kind of nude lipsticks. So this is my nude lip drawer. And then right below that, I have my colorful lip drawer. So I don't have any organizers for this drawer yet. I will be getting that, but I'm gonna probably organize this by liquid lip and then like traditional lip or lipstick bullets, kind of like I do with my nude. I may even organize it by reds, pinks, oranges. I'm not 100% sure. So I just need to get some organizers in here and figure that out. Um, but yeah, these are all just my bold lips. I've got, I mean, everything here from like browns to reds to oranges to pinks. And then back here I have my colorful lip palette that I made. Um, and I organize this by pinks, reds and oranges, and then kind of my wine berry darker shades. So yeah, these are all of my colorful lip products. All right guys, we are almost done. I promise, final two drawers are more eyeshadows. The reason I have them kind of in the same, well, the reason I have them in the same column as my lips is because all my eye products are right here. So I feel like it all just kind of, it fits together in my head. But yeah, these are more eyeshadows. Um, so these are all of my single eyeshadows and eyeshadow toppers, ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Bodyography Glitter Pigments, Mermaid Eye Colors from Shantikai, Lid Luster from Victoria Beckham, like this top coat from Natasha Denona, just all those little like glittery eye toppers that I love. And I have a lot of room to grow in here as well. And then in this little eyeshadow palette organizer, I have um, more singles, so like my Makeup by Mario, um, these are the Masters Crystal Reflectors. So these kind of like eye topper products and then all my Shantikai single eyeshadows are in here so love this drawer as well and then the final drawer is all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes so these are like quads duos um all of my makeup by mario eyeshadow palettes are in here all my Bare Minerals eyeshadow palettes are in here my Ilia ones just all my smaller ones my beloved Fiona style ones that are discontinued. Yeah, I like separating the smaller ones from the larger ones. I feel like when I mix the two, the large ones just kind of take over and hide all my smaller ones. So I like being able to see all my smaller ones in their own separate drawer. All right, so like I mentioned, I have, I wanted to keep the bottom row open for baskets. So this is where I keep overflow. Um, so it's stuff in PR that I'm either gonna do giveaways with or I'm gonna give it to a specific person or to family or friends. Um, it's basically giveaway stuff. And if you don't know how I do giveaways, um, sorry, I feel weird not being on camera. So if you're not familiar, familiar with how I do giveaways, I actually just reach out to y'all randomly. So if I notice someone who's actively engaging with my content on YouTube, Instagram, things like that, um, you know, leaving comments, um, I will reach out to you and ask you for your address and just send you a bunch of goodies. That's how I do giveaways. I don't like to do the full production. It just doesn't seem genuine to me. I've done them in the past and I'm not saying I won't ever do one ever again. I just feel like I want someone to win the products that is actually supporting my channel, you know? And I don't want people to just enter a giveaway just to get stuff and then, you know, they they just they don't really care about my content so i always try and support all of you who 
are supporting me, you know? So I've got like a whole bin right here of skincare. This, this entire bin is full and it's just skincare um, that I'm not going to use. So I've got that and then this is residual skincare. So this next bin over is just residual, so. And then this bin right here is all makeup. Is this? Yeah, this is all makeup overflow. And then this is everything that I decluttered from this whole thing. And I just need to go through it and um, organize it and figure out what I'm, who I'm gonna give to what and everything like that, so. Um, I've got that and I also wanted to um, I'm gonna research some shelters in my area some women's shelters that I can give away used makeup Because I know there are some shelters who will accept used makeup and a lot of the makeup that's in here is maybe used once or twice You know, it's not gross or disgusting. I would never just give that away um, So I really want to try and find some shelters in my area that I can donate this So that is what that bin is for and that is it. That's my entire collection. That's everything um, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I just, honestly, I just love the way it looks. It just looks very clean, very simple, minimal, but you know, it's still fun. You know, I can come in here and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I wanna use this today, or you know, I haven't used this in a while, like I wanna, I wanna play with this, and it's inspiring, It's ma it makes me wanna be creative, but it's also not overwhelming, and it's very clean on the outside. Like I said, I share an office with Chris, and I don't want my office to look like a beauty room. Obviously, I want it to have my style, my flair, my personality in it, but I just want our office to have a very cohesive vibe. I don't want it to feel like his side and my side. I want everything to just kind of flow together, and um, we both really like the style of this, so. I'm very happy with this. All right, and then really quickly, before I end this video, I wanted to share with you um, what I did with the shoebox organizers. So um, I showed y'all I had these um, shoebox organizers from the container store that I used to keep my makeup in, but I now have them on this little table right here. And in here, I keep all my products that I'm using for videos. So I have them labeled video one, video two, video three, video four, so I can plan out my videos and I can keep the products in there. I know exactly what I want to use in each video. And then I also have on the top here, I have two campaign um, drawers. And if I'm working on a campaign with a brand, I can keep all the products that I'm using for that campaign in that drawer. And it's just keeps me very organized. I'm very happy with this. The method that I was using before, to organize like, you know, a, a full face of flower beauty, for example. I just felt like I didn't have anywhere to put all the products that I wanted to use in the video and then sometimes I forget products or I leave products in my collection and then I don't get to use them in the video. So this I feel like just kind of consolidates everything, keeps everything where I want it and I can see exactly what products I'm using in certain videos. And then also I wanted to show you I have these larger ones, the larger shoe boxes, and I'm actually keeping these on my desk. I don't be able to see. So this is new PR stuff. So stuff that I get in PR, I just throw in here. And then, you know, I can either do a full face of like new stuff or new PR stuff, or I can pick and choose different products in here and create a video out of that. Over here, I have my planner, notebooks, just the stuff that I use on a daily basis. Up here is all my tech stuff. So I have some USB cords. Um, headphones, just like random things that I may need for my computer. And then over here, I just have <laughs> some drawings from my kids because I don't really have anything I, I can put in here. Um, and then I just have like pens and stuff up here. But that's what I did with my shoebox organizers. I'm very happy with this. I like, I like having this like this instead of for actual like makeup organization. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Love it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking for like five hours. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my makeup collection. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope that this maybe helps you if you're looking for some organization. It doesn't even have to be for makeup. If you're looking for any kind of organization for a hobby that you have or anything like that, I hope that maybe some of this was helpful. I will link everything in the description box. So the calyx, cube storage, the drawers, the knobs, the label maker. I'll link these little shoebox organizers as well. Um, 
yeah, I'll try and link as much as possible, as much as I can think of. Um, but I hope that this was helpful. I hope y'all enjoyed. And this was such a fun journey. It, it wasn't fun in the beginning because it was just very overwhelming, but I'm very glad that I just did it. And I love the way that it turned out. And honestly, this really makes me want to do a shop my stash video now, which is probably going to be my next video because I just want to shop my stash. I just want to go through everything. It's like shopping a whole new collection all over again. So I'm just very happy with how everything turned out. And I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog style video, um, this series. Um, this was a lot of fun, definitely out of my comfort zone, but I really enjoyed it and I hope y'all did too. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are